Hi everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel Sai Edu Farmer. We are going to discuss today various types of bioavailability. It is one of the topic of biofarm subject of B Farm 6 semester PCI syllabus. So here first of all I would like to say what is bioavailability. As you all know that when we discuss about bioavailability then it is measurement of rate and extent or amount of therapeutically active drug that reaches the systemic circulation unchanged and is available at the site of action. Here you have to remember two words. First is how much amount is reaching in the blood or systemic circulation and in what time means rate. And why they are saying unchanged drug? Because you all know that when drug goes to the systemic circulation, then it is metabolized also. And some of the drug goes and uh, binds with the protein. So when the drug is bound with the protein, then that drug is also not available for action. And what is the range of bioavailability? That we take from 0 to 1. If it is 1 means 100% absorption is there. Generally for intravenous route we consider it as 1. Now what is the order, order of bioavailability of the dosage forms? So 100% is for intravenous. That means for parenteral dosage form. Then comes for oral, then rectal and topical. You have to remember this sequence. Then comes various types of dosage forms. Then as you all know that the liquid dosage form in that also monophasic liquids that is solutions. The bioavailability is highest. Then comes biphasic that is suspensions. Then powder because it is finely divided particles. So you don't have to go for disintegration. Then after that there is tablet and then capsule. So there are two types of bioavailability. First is absolute bioavailability and second is relative bioavailability. So here you can see that when the bioavailability of any new drug formulation is calculated or determined then it comes under absolute and when the comparison of test formulation is done with that of the reference standard then that is relative. Now we will be we'll seeing one by one both these. First is absolute bioavailability. So when the systemic availability of any drug which is administered orally is determined in comparison to its intravenous administration then it is called as absolute bioavailability. We know that for intravenous F is 1 and here F is the symbol for absolute bioavailability and uh, its determination is used to characterize a drug's inherent absorption properties from the extravascular site. And if the absolute bioavailability is 1, it shows that 100% absorption is there. And here formula is F is equal to dose IV into AUC oral upon dose oral into AUC IV. Where AUC is area under the curve. Next term is relative bioavailability which is denoted by FR. So when, a, when the systemic availability of any drug after oral administration of formulation A is compared with that of oral standard formulation of the same drug such as aqueous or non-aqueous solution or suspension then it is called as relative or comparative bioavailability. Generally here you see that we compare oral formulation with that of standard of same drug like if you compare between capsule of amoxicillin and suspension of amoxicillin then it is used to characterize absorption of drug from its formulation generally this is used to assess the bioequivalence of two drugs but here the difference is that if the relative bioavailability is one or hundred percent then it means that bioavailability of drug for both the dosage form is same. Okay. But it does not show that uh, this drug or this dosage form has 100% systemic drug absorption. So when we see the formula, then in this case, you have to write FR is equal to dose extravascular 2 by dose extravascular 1 into AUC extravascular 1 by AUC extravascular 2. Here FR 
in some books it is written that fr is equal to auc a by auc b this is when the dose is same for both the formulations or sometimes if the dose is different and auc is same then it is said that fr is equal to oral dose of the drug by oral dose of the standard this is the comparison you can take screenshot of it so again we will summarize that in absolute bioavailability the drug which is administered orally is compared with that of its intravenous administration and the symbol is f but in relative uh, the availability of formulation a is compared with that of the standard formulation of the same drug and here symbol is fr so thank you so much stay connected with sciedu pharma we have prepared a playlist separately for biopharmaceutic subject you can go and watch the videos over there and we have also uploaded the basics of bioavailability video as well as various mcqs related to bioavailability and biopharmaceutics so do write in the comment sections you want videos on further which topics thank you so much